Hey guys, welcome back to the Wad Doc, Project 365, Episode 11. So, I'm a visual guy, so I wanted to start out this video by giving you a visual about what we're going to talk about today. Um, if I was to go around and I was to pull America, or just pull the side, uh, the, everybody on the side of the road, and say, what is a muscle? Most likely, I would get a common answer. Either people would, you know, point to their bicep, or, uh, you know, we live out here in Jersey, so they might point to their pecs. Um, but there would be a common uh, answer to everything. So, or common answer to that question. If I was to go ahead and I was to ask you what fascia is, I'm either going to get 50 different answers or crickets. So today, we're going to talk about and we're going to define just what fascia is and how it relates to us as athletes, uh, CrossFit or not. Fascia itself, outright, without any other definition, histologically, it's a fibrous tissue. It's a layer of fibrous tissue. The cool thing about, uh, about fascia is it surrounds everything. It surrounds muscles and muscle, uh, I'm sorry, muscle fibers and muscles. So the strands of the rope and the rope itself. It surrounds nerves, blood vessels, even the organs in our body. I'm telling you guys, it surrounds everything. It's everywhere. Now, it has two cool properties. It binds things together. As in um, the example that I just gave two seconds ago, where these would be considered muscle fibers, and this whole thing would be considered the muscle. So it binds all the muscle fibers together to form the muscle. The other cool thing um, is that it allows or it gives the property um, of gliding. So in an example of the bicep and the tricep, in that movement, the bicep is contracting and the tricep is extending. So those two tissues need to slide past each other. And fascia gives it that property and allows that to do that. So now let's relate it to the, the CrossFit community or the athletic community uh, and why is that a big deal? Now that we know what fascia is, we need to know what fascia is to be able to understand what adhesions are. Adhesions are when a layer of fascia sticks to the muscle that it itself is surrounding or to the connective tissue of the adjacent muscle. So what? Who cares? What about this? Well, that in itself can cause irritation. That irritation causes pain and soreness. It also causes reduced circulation. Now, in the body, the only way we get anything is through our circulation, through our blood, right? So with that, we get decreased nutrient exchange and we get poor rate waste removal. Now, that uh, decreased respiration uh, to the muscle itself already knows that that muscle can't heal correctly. But the most important part, and the take home fact here guys, is it reduces the gliding properties of the tissue. It reduces the ability for that tissue to slide by each other. And it does it only in the focal areas, right? Because the unaffected portions will slide regularly. So the reason why this is important is because with reduced gliding properties, it also increases the stress on the unaffected areas of the tissue. So I'm going to do a little demonstration. This theracord is going to uh, represent an unaffected healthy tissue. This piece of theracord, which was originally the same length, is going to represent uh, adhesion formations with the knots in it. If you notice, I could take these both, line them up, and pull them to the same length. But what you can immediately see through this little demonstration and there's, is there's two things. Much less stress on the, the unaffected, healthy um, theracord or tissue, and it's also evenly distributed, okay? Now, if we take the, the affected one, you'll notice that as we stretch it, the adhesions themselves, they stay unaffected by the stretch. So there's much more stress applied upon the healthy portions of the tissue. Now, we, we all know that increased stress can lead to repetitive strain and increases the likelihood of, uh, of further injury. So we go into this repetitious or, or repetitive cycle of adhesion formation, increased stress in the tissue, more adhesion formation, more increased stress in the tissue until eventually we, we lead to a, a possible you know, sidelining injury. So next, uh, next episode we're going to talk about how do, we, how do we tackle these little buggers physiologically um, and, um, and why stretching itself doesn't work how we need a combination of a couple things. 
Until next time, guys, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.